Coming up in this vlog, I try out an underwing camera mount and test fly a GoPro Hero 3. My name is Tim Palmer and I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of a farm strip in East Anglia. Welcome back to the vlog and a big thank you to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate your support. I'm not a qualified flying instructor, nor do I claim to be a very good pilot. I fly for fun and basically record for my own interest and review. I like sharing my flying experiences, good and bad, and try to edit for enjoyment and storytelling. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and do leave me a comment as it makes it all worthwhile. Okay, well, it was a fairly strong crosswind from the left, but didn't seem to make that much of a difference. Um, lifted off fairly well, uh, 65 knots, about 500 feet a minute. I know that it's a very, very odd day. Quite aware is talking to me, but I can't really hear what she's saying. Well, the fact that I uh, am flying solo means that I haven't got to wear the mask. Uh, a couple of flights recently I have done. Um, and it's not actually very comfortable, but necessity and all that. At the moment we've got rule of six in place, which means you can't have a gathering of more than six people. Um, I've got quite a few bits and pieces of film that I can use, so if we do have a lockdown, it will be disappointing, but it won't necessarily stop me from keeping my upload sorted. In fact, I've, I've already planned the next four or five thing is it doesn't necessarily mean um, that they're going to come out in the right order, the order that I filmed them, because I know that I've already sent out the Stomaris one, even though there was some more that I filmed before that. But having said that, I think it was important to get that one out, because lots of people did see what I was doing, and were interested in what I might be working on, which is good. Um, you'll probably see it from that camera. Well, you have to see it from that camera because the underwing camera won't see it, and this camera I've uh, left in the bag. But I've actually put that on the, the longer arm um, in as much as it's easier for me to, to see. Not that much difference, but it's, it's enough. Um, as it stands at the moment, don't want to lose it too much, but I've got somebody passing behind me. Uh, and hi, although I can't actually see it at the moment. For those people who uh, are new to the channel, or new to the video and are interested in the channel, I fly this Jodel 1050 which was built in 1963 uh, and I record all of my flights um, I'd like to think that there's some interesting different bits and pieces but really what I'm doing is I really want to show how much fun we get from our flying it's been a, a, a quietish year what with lockdown and very strange winter if you followed the channel you will have seen all of the rain that we had, although I have to say, as it stands at the moment, we really could do with some more rain. Um, the 
fields that it should really be beginning to green up now are definitely, are definitely not. Everything's looking really, really brown. The paddock where the horses are in many places is a real dust bowl. I know that this will probably sit within another one I've done of camera tests, but I wasn't very happy when I did that one um, with the camera, with the GoPro set on narrow. It, it didn't produce what I really wanted it to, but the thing is with the with the GoPro, with the conditions, etc., etc., it really all does boil down to um, what the weather's like and what the conditions are like. They talk about golden hour being first thing in the morning and last thing at night when the colours are at their strongest. Uh, I didn't fly yesterday because the crosswind at Mayland was very, very strong and very, very gusting. Gusting was the one that caused the main problem. Uh, we have to be in the air by 7.30. Not that we get that much of a choice at the moment because the nights are pulling in. But uh, I did notice that last night at about 20 to 7, it all just died off. And what's more, you had a very, very nice sunset. Not a brilliant sunset, in terms of watching the globe of the sun, but the colours of the sky were really interesting, very, very nice. Um, I'm flying a lot of this, which is what I've done before, because I want to make the comparisons between the two. I'm flying a lot of this, which is what I've done before, because I want to make the comparisons between the two. Tilted that front camera up a little bit. No, I don't mean the front camera, I mean the wing camera. So, again, that's going to just be series of suck it and seize in terms of how that works but we'll we'll just see what happens in terms of how that works but we'll we'll just see what happens are talking about flying tomorrow somewhere so I'm not going to use too much fuel but it is a matter really of trying to make the most of conditions because we really don't know what's going to be happening long term wise Just looking at the path that I walked with Toby and the babe last time in order to see where it comes out. But basically it doesn't cut back towards Dad's but it goes across into Brining Sea. Again I'm trying to position the camera. top of Brightening Sea. Looks like there's a 
a yachting race taking place nobody in the swimming pool but I think that's because of the COVID restrictions over the top of Bateman's Tower and then tracking the old railway line I always find this quite a fascinating thing flying over somewhere where you regularly drive or regularly walk you just seem to be just removed from everything well just fly around the outskirts of the village Stoke on Aitland Church on there on the right hand side. Stoke on Aitland Golf Course straight ahead. I go over the top at a thousand feet. Aitland Traffic Golf Alpha Yankee Echo Hotel is in the overhead Aitland Traffic. eye out in the turn for any gliders at Wormingford. With the wind being the direction it is, they're winching towards us. You can tell this is in the wind. Although it's only registering 12 knots. Clear on lock final in case somebody else is coming in. Straight in doesn't usually happen nowadays. People are pretty good about phoning up for PPR and uh, getting a briefing. Nayland traffic, go well for Yankee Echo Hotel, turning final Nayland traffic. Staticky. Oh, coming in a little bit like a crab. Windsor is out, quite out straight. This is where you tend to start the rodeo. So before I can do anything else, I'm going to do the various ties to actually get at the camera. Right, it's just a matter of climbing back in in order to just check that everything is switched off. I can't actually do this particularly elegantly, but yeah. Um, I did remember this time to use the sound system so that can be unplugged 
that can come out. Um, that didn't work again. It wouldn't locate. I don't know what that's all about anyway. I'll turn that off. Phone out of the way. And then for those people who said they wanted a little bit of a tour, then there are fuel gauges. Um, the key is out. But magnetos are there. Oil pressure or temperature. Airspeed indicator. VSI. Then we've got altimeter. Radio, transponder, we've got turn and slip, we've got a carb temperature, basic kitchen timer as a timer, cylinder head temperature, exhaust gas temperature, that instrument's failed, doesn't, doesn't work, RPM, got a vacuum tuck there but the Venturi is, is not connected because we've got the EFIS um, master switch. If I put the master back on and I turn that on then the extreme will, will light up. There we go. And if I come down again beyond the master switch then I've got carb heat, I've got mixture cabin heat, fuel pump, carbon monoxide tester, fuel cock. Uh, setup I've got in order to record the audio. Uh, break. And I don't know whether it's going to be light enough to see but what happens is you've got a, a left break on the extreme of the pedal and a right brake on the extreme of the pedal but then you've also got a handbrake which brings both on and down here between two front seats got the air brake which is basically on or off now I have to hit that down a little bit because I need to make sure that, that locks in right at the back.